Anxiety is the emotion that Laura Misumi felt on Tuesday night as news broke of multiple shootings in the Atlanta area. The shooter targeting spas and massage parlors. Six of the eight victims, Asian women. Part of me has not really allowed myself to fully feel all of the impact of the past year. While the atrocities in Atlanta were particularly horrific, this is not the first example of anti-ATI hate. That's, that's happened in the past year. That hate escalating during the pandemic, with people and political leaders alike calling COVID-19 the China virus or the China flu. The World Health Organization has made quite clear we cannot attribute a pandemic or a virus to any particular country, that that does so much more harm than good. Laura is the executive director of Rising Voices of Asian American Families, a Michigan-based nonprofit organization aimed at helping Asian American women and their families, creating a community to make sure they know they're not alone. Next Saturday morning, they are hosting a virtual event to connect, support, and even share some tips on how to handle anxiety. We want to acknowledge that for some people, this may be the first time that they're feeling this type of anxiety. For others, it's not a first, a painful reminder of the discrimination they face in our country, especially Asian women. Asian American women have been uh, stereotyped as being, you know, hypersexual, you know, fetishized, but also seen as kind of meek, subservient um, and, and compliant in a lot of ways. I think it makes it makes it an easier target. On Thursday, both the Michigan House and Senate passed resolutions condemning Asian American hate crimes and encouraging Michiganders to report hate crimes to the proper authorities, including local police and the Michigan Attorney General's office. To my fellow Asian American community members, I want to let you know that we see you, we feel your pain and your fear. We know that you feel worried about sending your kids to school with the potential for more bullying or are worried about your elderly Asian parents becoming a target just for walking down the street. Laura says the resolution is a step in the right direction, but more needs to be done. While the resolution, you know, we celebrate it, it's a great start. We also know that in this circumstance, we would have needed so much more to have prevented a crime like this from happening. The Michigan Attorney General does have a phone number dedicated to reporting hate crimes. That number 313-456-0200. We will put that phone number on our website, WXYZ.com, as well as information on that virtual event. I'm Allie Hoxie for 7 Action News.